look at this here's my video before and here is my video after can you spot the difference the second one looks cleaner more professional and honestly more cinematic and guess what i use an android phone and it doesn't even have the portrait mode feature for videos which most iphones and high-end cameras have i also like to add that i actually made this video because someone made this comment on my video and i've done this tutorial before so this is just like an updated version so in this video i'm going to show you how to get the same blood background using two free apps and that is InShot and CapCut app you can make your videos look amazing without buying an expensive camera or a new phone so let's get into it so the first tutorial will be on InShot. now let's go to our InShot app open your InShot app click on video to import the video you want to edit now click on effects click on ai effect then click on blur now click on gauss this particular one here as you can see it's too much in my opinion so all you need to do is just reduce the value just drag this back to reduce the value to make it look more realistic then click on this check mark and drag it to the end of the video or you click on this um bar then click on this side arrow and click on clip end so it will automatically drag it to the end then export your video to remove InShot watermark you need to watch and add if you are not on the pro version so that's that on that's for InShot now the second tutorial will be on CapCut app open your CapCut app and click on new project to import your video so to achieve this blood background effect in CapCut there are two effects that you can use so now i'm going to show you the first one now click on effect click on video effect click on lens and scroll down to dynamic blur and click on this check button now with the effects is selected click on adjust personally i reduce my glow totally and this color up here is for if you want your video background to pop more Personally, I also reduce my intensity to like say 30 just to give it this natural feel look like it's coming from a real camera. So now range, I personally do not touch range, but you can play with it and you know use whatever works for you. So click on this check button, then drag it to the end of your video. Now the second effect that you can use to achieve this result is still the same process. So click on effect, then click on video effect and click on lens, then click on spot blow. They both have the same function. Then click on this check mark. And with the effects selected, click on adjust. I reduce my glow as I said earlier. Reduce the intensity to make it look real. And if you want to add color as well, you can add it. Dynamic blur is very free on CapCut free version. But I think the spot blur effect is a paid feature. So to use this effect in CapCut, you need to be a pro member. But I made a video on how to use CapCut Pro for free. It should be popping up on the screen right now. Make sure you watch it so you'll be able to use those effects for free. Whether you use InShot or CapCut, you can now get that cinematic blood background. Even if your phone does not have portrait mode for videos. Try this out in your next video and see how much more professional it looks. If this helped you, like this video, subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll be alerted anytime an amazing video like this one drops. I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, bye.